Howdy. That's not really my greeting, but that's what I'm saying. Howdy. I still have <coughs> a bit of a lingering cough. So please excuse me. I have tea. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll try and meet my coughs, but uh, see, I couldn't do it in time. So please forgive me. Actually, I think I have... I think I made a save state, didn't I? I did! I made a save state right here so we wouldn't have to walk all the way back. That's me using my noodle. Isn't Mischief Makers the game where every block has a look of pure anguish? Yes! I guess if you're watching this recording you wouldn't know, but I was playing music for Mischief Makers before the stream. Hey, newcomer! Uh... Can I go through? Is that allowed? I like to go through. On a guy. Only time you've ever used the D-pad on the N64 is inputting golden eye codes. I remember using the D-pad to play Clefairy Says in Pokemon Stadium, and it did not always recognize my inputs, which is very frustrating, because I have a good memory. Hey, Ricky. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but... You can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags we place there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You are going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. What service? Link can't travel through time but is stopped by a wooden gate. I mean, I was gonna say Link is a nice boy and he respects the gate, but... I don't know if he respects the gate exactly, considering all the breaking and entering he's done. Which D-pad is better, N64 or GameCube? Ooh. Uh... Haunted Wasteland, if you chase a mirage, the desert will swallow you. Only one path is true. Well, I'm going to go ahead and set my lens of truth, because I know I'm going to need that. Link knows how to break barriers in the fourth dimension, not the third. You're right. You know, he's like, he's like Mario. Like, he can't get over uh, an obstacle that logically shouldn't stop him, and yet... What do you mean, Tink? There we go. GameCube controller is very ergonomical for the hands. I do like the GameCube controller quite a bit. Also, it's, it is really dark. Hang on a second. I can't see. Oh yeah, I like the GameCube controller except for the D-pad. <laughs> and then you didn't really use the D-pad for much, did you? Oh no, I have to cross the river of sand again. My progress. Hello, Min. GameCube did have a lot of excellent games. I concur. I mean, Wind Waker, Double Dash, <coughs> Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, Melee, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Or all my Mario Golf fans at. All those reckless enough to venture into the desert, please drop by our shop. Carpet merchant. Yeah, I'll buy a carpet. Ugh. I know that's not what he's selling, but I can dream. Ugh. Hello, sir. Nice hair. Hang on, I'm, I'm too, too slippery for this. I need some golf club emotes, you're right. Welcome. I am selling stuff strange and rare from all over the world to everybody. Today's special is a dangerous running object. Terrifying. I won't tell you what it is until I see the money. How oh, about 200 rupees? It's just a bunch of bomb chews. Also, can you folks excuse me for a second? I have to get a cat off the counter. Just a moment, please.
Yes, I remember to mute this time. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm not gonna buy your bomb shoes. Oh, that's too bad. The mark that will lead you to the spirit temple is the flag on the left outside the shop. If you change your mind, please come back again. I don't have any bomb shoes, do I? I don't. I mean... You know what? I'm gonna buy them. I mean, what else am I gonna spend this money on? Woohoo. It's got little whiskers. I never really noticed before. Carry in place with C. This is a new type of bomb that can even crawl up walls. Yeah, I know. Thank you very much. What I'm selling is... Bomb Chew. The mark that will lead you to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. He kind of... Does anybody else here play Snowboard Kids? He kind of looks like Jam. Uh, uh, to be clear, there is a character named Jam. Uh, he does not look like... like Jelly. Well, Jelly and Jam are different things, but you know what I mean. No, I did not see the marching band doing Mario music. I have to go check that out. Thank you. Now, now, is it is it unusual Mario music? Like you know when when people play Mario music in in a. I'm gonna say normie settings. It's always you know like do 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 do. You know it's always one one. That's the one song everybody knows. I want some variety. <laughs> world 1-1, one, one, World 1-2, World 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's all anybody ever does. I would love some Mario World. There's something, I don't know, cozy about the sound of old Super Nintendo soundtracks. And I'm not just saying that because of F-099. Which, you know, the music in that is really good. Why, Link, please... I just... Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll take... I'd... Yeah, this is a little excessive. But, sure. I'll probably switch it up for a blue potion at some point. But, I mean, I'm not... Ma'am? Miss? Hello? <sighs> the desert! That is where Ganondorf the Evil King was born. If we go there, we might find something. Thank you, Navi. Gosh darn it. I did it. Oh yeah, the marching band formations. I didn't even think about that. I haven't really seen a marching band perform in a very long time. Like, I don't go to sports games here. What's it gonna be? I bet it's gonna be... 20 rupees. No, 50 rupees. It's gonna be 50 rupees. Oh! 50 dollar! How did I know? You were thinking in the shower today about how the castle theme in Mario World is a masterpiece of evocative audio and imprinted fear into four-year-old you before you could even fathom what it was to dread. Powerful stuff. I mean, they do some good stuff with those arpeggios. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me and don't be slow. Why do these ghosts always have to go in such erratic patterns? I mean, I guess they need to find their fun somehow. Probably not a lot of customers out here. Oh, leavers! Oh, no! I mean, they're not really that threatening, they're just annoying. Ugh. The joy of marching band is getting to school an hour early in the morning. My school did not have a marching band. <coughs> so I, uh, I missed out on that. I'm sure if, if, uh, one is from a school that puts a lot of stock in their, their football team? Maybe? But I feel like the the fervor over uh, like high school and college football is not really a thing here, like it is in the states. <coughs> I 
I'm going to sip my tea. <sighs> well, lots of high school football teams don't have marching bands. Okay, I got to look at my, my mentions for that. Whoa. Excuse me. Come on, man. This is how I feel, not to bring up F-Zero again, but when you're starting the race and you just get punted away from all the zippers because you're driving a golden fox and that thing is about as durable as balsa wood. And it's like, come on, man. Like, I'm not even mad. It's just like, come on, man. Really? All these little guys, friend shape. These these things, they're called levers. Ow. I don't know if that's very friend maybe it's too friendly. No, I'm trying to I'm trying to target them so you can see their name. There we go. Lever. Watch its movements closely and let it go by. Thankfully levers cannot deal with rocks. Remind you of Rolo candies. Oh, that's not my shield button. That's not my shield button. It's so weird hearing silence in the Gerudo Desert. Oh, if you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. That's, uh, very specific. Hmm. Well, can't go there. Uh, and here it is, the fabled crawl space that Big Link cannot get into. Well, this was a fun temple. Goodbye. Oh no, what the... The weird audio glitches from Monkey Ball. <laughs> Past. Present. Future. Owl. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. A down, A right down, A. Get out of here, Boyd. You have learned the Requiem of Spirit. <sighs> now, somebody's going to come in and say, Maury, it's pronounced Requiem or something. Like Bolero. Ugh. Well, thanks for not throwing a Deku nut right in my eyes, I guess. All right, well, that was a productive trip. It's pronounced jazz. You're right, you got me. <clears throat> More tea. Sheik rode here on the owl. Uh, but then his ride took off. Just, you know, the owl had other fares to pick up. Like, the economy's tough in Hyrule. So, the even the owl had to turn to the gig economy. It's not Uber, it's... it's... Uber? I'll work on it. In Master Quest, you have to do things in the future spirit temple to open things in the past. Yeah, I don't think that's how time travel works. <clears throat> but then, I mean, look at how you learn the Song of Storms. Now, you might be asking, Mori, why don't you just warp 
back to the Desert Colossus. <clears throat> but I have things I would like to do here. <laughs> I don't think we can call it that. I think Hooters is already trademarked. <laughs> and I remember watching you stream some of uh, Master Quest in the Spirit Temple, Andorra. Some of those rooms, those puzzles were evil. That's right, it's bomb chew bowling. I know, I know. Like, sh let me have this. Yeah, uh oh, a customer. That's how I feel. Let's bowl! Okay. This time. Oh no. I forgot I have to press B to, to prime it and then press B again to shoot. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, it's in the corner even. I forgot. Sometimes it's in the corner. Good aim, Mori. Yeah, okay, okay. Cool. Alright, welcome to hell, welcome to hell. No, I don't know what that noise was. Is that it in the spotlight? Losing its religion? Uh, well, if Link believed in God, or I guess the goddesses, I don't think he does anymore. Hi, Kelly. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Oh, yeah, right, right into the bird. Right into the bird. Ugh. No, I primed it too early. I primed it too early. Huh? <laughs> One more time. <laughs> yeah, that's the second time it's happened. Is that the bomb chew has exploded prematurely when it was gonna go in. Like, for real, for real. Oh, man. Uh. Oh yeah, my sanity has definitely been defeated. Ooh. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Yeah, yeah. Has anyone ever played through a randomized run of Ocarina of Time? Come on, man. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I missed anyway. <coughs> I just wonder how miserable it would be to have, like... An important item gated behind this. Huh? Uh, really? Oh, that was a waste. That was a waste. Yep. 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 Oh, come on, man. This big cuckoo's just a masochist. And... Uh, winner! I did it! Yay! Why do I feel so empty? Wow. No, I don't want to play again. Alright, you don't have to play if you don't want to. I don't. Goodbye. Forever. Well done! Is that what you're trying to evoke, Andorra? Uh, where am I going? Here. I'm going here. I am going to go lie in the desert sun and contemplate my life choices. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this journey of suffering. Oh man, look, I don't I don't have time for you. Is there is there is there, is there a grotto here? I know um Nehru's love is around here somewhere. Well, the stone of agony is not getting off, uh, going off. Ow. So there's probably nothing there. 
just all these disappointing circles, but I know Nehru's love is around here somewhere. How can something be a masochist when it can't feel pain, only anger? I mean, I think causing yourself emotional damage is still a form of masochism. Like, people get in a big Twitter fights, you know? Oh, useless oasis. I don't remember where uh, the cave for the fairy fountain is, just that it's somewhere in here. Play the song of storms at the hole. I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, when you say hole, you mean here, right? Where Navi is glowing green. Hole, oasis, same thing. Mm, delicious. Slurp. Oh. You're welcome. Let me collect one of you as a sacrifice. Well, I have restored the ecosystem or damaged the ecosystem. But I mean, you ever see photos of what the desert looks like after even a light rain shower? And it's just absolutely covered in flowers and plant life. I have devastated the desert environment. And the immortal words of Princess Zelda. Good! Everybody knows that bit, right? The Gerudo Fortress has been flooded. Well, that means they can't throw Big Me into jail anymore. I have ruined their prison system. <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised that like all these fairies have the same palette, and it wasn't until Majora's Mask that they had different hair colors. Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. Sipping my tea. Maybe they don't have hair dye in Hyrule. You got Nehru's love. Cast this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with C. <laughs> Nehru's love is in effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. <clears throat> Eventually that's going to get burned into my brain, like, May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. From A Link to the Past. <coughs> Ugh. My head throbs every time I cough, and it's miserable. I did take some Advil, and I took some, some cough medicine before stream. But again, please bear with my coughing. <coughs> Ew, the spirit temple. Not a fan, huh? How goes the recovery? Not bad. I'm definitely doing a lot better than I was. Most importantly, I tested negative for the plague. I tested myself a couple days ago. So I'm all clear of that. I just, I still have a cough, unfortunately. But at least I am free of one malady. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? To see the temple? You're just a kid. The temple's no place for kids. Well, good thing you are an NPC in a game and I can just change my response infinitely until I say what you want, which I'm pretty sure is this one, but I'm seeing the dialogue. A sage? I don't know anyone like that. I guess with the exception of Prodigal, where I said I was a spy and I got shanked for it. Never forget. Nothing, really. You have nothing to do? What good timing! Can you do me a favor, kid? Wait a second. I want to ask you first. 
You wouldn't happen to be one of Ganondorf's uh, followers, would you? What if I am? <laughs> Don't try to act cool, kid. I was just asking. A kid like you could never be one of Ganondorf's followers. Well, let's cut to the chase. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am Noburu of the Gerudo. I'm a lone wolf thief. But don't get me wrong. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children, and he even killed people. A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists only of women. Only one man is born every hundred years. Even though our laws say that lone male Gerudo must become king of the Gerudo, I'll never bow to such an evil man. By the way, what is your name, kid? Link? What kind of name is that? Well, anyway... I could say what kind of name is Noboru, but that's a cool name. I want to ask you a favor. Will you go through this tiny hole and get a treasure that's inside? The treasure is the silver gauntlets. If you equip them, you can easily push and pull very heavy things. No, 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 kid. Don't even think about taking this treasure for yourself. The silver gauntlets won't fit a little kid like you if you try to equip them. I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. Ganondorf and his minions are using the spirit temple as a hideout. Only the silver gauntlets will allow me to sneak deep into the temple. Once there, I'm going to steal all the treasure inside and mess up their plans. How about it? Will you do it? Sure. Thanks, kid. You and I, let's give Ganondorf and his followers a big surprise, shall we? If you can successfully get the silver gauntlets, I'll do something great for you. Can you folks please excuse me one more time? There is a cat on the counter again. I swear to God, just a minute. At least there's better music here instead of just the whooshing of desert sands. Tilt them up, they could aside. Okay. Cat crimes have been averted. Okay. <laughs> Noboru sounds like the name of a town. Weird, right? I, I guess if one is not familiar, uh, Noboru is the name of a town in Zelda 2. Also, uh, let, me, let me talk to her first and then let me respond to chat. If you can successfully get the silver gauntlets, I'll do something great. Oh, it's the same, the same thing. Um, I missed it in the in chat, but uh, yeah, Persona 3's Big Dungeon Tartarus is kind of tedious. I appreciate uh, Persona 5 in particular how at least you know it it tries to make its dungeons a little more interesting, just visually, musically. Well, I do like oh my shield. Oh no, totally forgot I had the Deku shield equipped. And also that there were fire keys here. Oh well. Live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. You know. There's nothing beneath this Armo statue. Is it? Oh. Why well, I'm just making all sorts of noises today. Uh... Here we go. Cool. Uh, let's let's go in that one first then. <coughs> Ow. Sorry, Link. I guess I have to I have to ruin your ankles a little bit first. You know, it's the rule. Um. I can hear a skulltula. Is it on this side of the wall? Yes. Come on, man. No. 
Come on. There we go. Cool. Um, I could probably just didn't fire this, couldn't I? Eh. I, I agree. I feel like Noburu should have appeared earlier. Especially because this game introduces the Gerudo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, gentlemen. <coughs> and yeah, there is also a town named after Mido, but Mido sucks. We don't care about Mido in this house. Mido, Mido, mid. Come on, Link, you're little. Like, you should be able to stab between their, their, their ankles. That's right, mid is literally in his name. Maybe I should equip a shield, just in case. And, you know, if I if I hit, like, the correct button to shields, and if I actually, like, shield it in time. Ugh. <laughs> What's up? You good? <laughs> Problem solved. Eh, that's eh, not working. Maybe the boomerang. Oh, nobody needs the Deku shield anyway, right? It's fine. Okay. Now I gotta hit this uh, switch. Nice. Can I say I love it when Stalfos Whoa, just jump off the side. It delights me. It's efficient. I could have done without all the damage I've taken, though. Oh, look at that! <laughs> How convenient! See, I was just burning up my shield for efficiency's sake, so that one wouldn't go to waste. Oh, it's... what is this? Ow, what is this thing called? I know you gotta, like, well, lure it over here. But I think you can just use Din's fire on it. I want to get close enough to target it, because I don't remember what it's called. Anubis! It's vulnerable to fire. Alright, there we go. There go my ankles again. <laughs> Is it back? No, it did not respawn. That's really funny, though. Mutually assured destruction. Oh man, there's not even anything in those pots. Well, I guess I guess there were like some rupees that dropped, but those are gone now. Anubis is a little out of place, just with the way other things are named in this game. Listen. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling! Again? Oh, is it invisible? Or did I just miss it falling? What? Why am I, I hearing the whoosh? But it doesn't actually fall. Hello? Oh, you're, you're not a fan of uh, Wall Masters, Kelly? Prince of Persian or something. Yeah, that, that sounds right. There you are. Good gravy. What took you so long, man? I don't mind the, the Wall Masters in uh, Ocarina of Time. I find compared to their counterparts in uh, A Link to the Past, they're far more benign. Because you can just kill them permanently. Or as the ones from Link to the Past come much more frequently, you can't kill them. Like, if you do, they just come back immediately. And uh, there's no 
audio cue or anything, so you just have to remember to keep moving. Lest you get yoinked out of the dungeon. Whoop! Uh, the stress of something coming to get you. That's true. <clears throat> I don't like being chased in games. Although Wallmasters never really bothered me, I think, because they don't chase you for very, very long. I, I get that, like, uh, the enemy is made to look like Anubis, but just with regards to, to nomenclature, Anubis doesn't quite fit in, in Zelda. Oh, man, I can't. I'll, I'll shoot it from up top. Let me just, uh, grab these and take a sippy of my tea. I have finished my tea, but I still have my water bottle. Gotta stay nice and hydrated. You know what I've seen in a lot of video games, made in Japan specifically, to the point where I'm surprised you don't really encounter them in real life? Ant lions. You see ant lions everywhere in, in games. But I've never seen one in person. Oh, hello. I can't see. If I could, like, target this guy, that'd be cool. Bam. 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 Die, Yoshi, die. Thank you. Okay, now... Well, I guess it's a good thing I bought those bomb chews. Although I think there's actually a chest you can get somewhere um, with bomb chews in them. <laughs> I was targeting it! How? Come on! Man! There we go. Yeah, easier to time a bomb toss, but it's like, you know, you have the bomb chews. This is probably what does it. Make the, the man in the desert feel like he did a good deed. <laughs> what are my thoughts on the Guardians and the Silent Realm from Skyward Sword? I was screaming internally the whole time I did those. Um, especially because they wake up when you step in water, but I don't believe it was communicated to you that they wake up when you step in water until you step in water. It's like, Fee, could you have told me this sooner, please? I, I know it's, I think it's pronounced Fi, but I always say Fee. Whatever. I have an Aegis Slash named after her. I didn't mind Fee. I know she over tutorializes, but a lot of things in Skyward Sword kind of over-tutorialize. What was the door that opened? Is it the one above me? I don't know. But also, I like the way she, she kind of skated around. I thought it was cool. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I'm a little sad I didn't hit that. I feel like every time I'm in a room with with the uh, blades, I gotta trim Link's ankles a little. You know, keeps him humble. Get my money's worth out of these bomb shoes. Yeah, her figure skating is cool, right? No, there you go. But I mean, honestly, my with my problems with Skyward Sword, Fee. Fi, fo fum. I smell the blood of a Hylian. Is is the least of my my worries. I mean, Skyward sort of Groose too. Groose had an interesting character arc, and I thought childhood friend Zelda was cute. Although, yet again, I wish Nintendo would let her do stuff. Yeah, I feel like Fee was 
maybe wasted potential more than anything. Like a cool design. Can you stop? Really desperate to laser me. <laughs> Igrus has the only character arc in the series. Ow. I'm trying to think of like another Zelda character that has an arc. Uh. Uh. Ow. I mean, you know, I'm very fond of the Zelda series, but yeah, it's not not the most in-depth uh, character storytelling, but that's okay. Oh yeah, Lineback! How could I forget Lineback? Never mind, post cancelled. There's Lineback. <laughs> but you're making a so so gesture. Yeah, that's also Lineback. I think that's his whole character, is just making an eh gesture. I say this to somebody who enjoys Lineback. A midnight. Oh, Ralph from Oracle of Ages. I mean, in as much as is Ralph kind of learns that going narrow and running around flailing wildly does not really solve a lot of problems. I mean, he tried. Bless his heart. Didn't really do a lot of good, but he tried. Okay, go, 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 go. Where's the last one now? I think I either missed one or one of them went out. <coughs> yeah. Hang on. Gee, Mori, maybe you should uh, ascertain where the, the torches are. <coughs> Ugh, cry me. Every time I cough, my head throbs. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, one. I can't see. It's so dark. There's none in this corner, right? No. It's two, three, okay. So as long as I don't get my ankles shredded, I should be fine. You Google Zelda Ark. What, Zelda Ark of the Covenant? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh man. Yeah, true final boss. Lighting a torch. Really? I'm not gonna make it in time now. That one's gonna go out. This room completely blows in Master Quest. Oh yeah, I remember seeing you struggle through this room in Master Quest. You know, I like hearing about what in games people struggled with, what challenged them. I think it's interesting. There we go. <coughs> it always rankles me when you uh, see people be all like, Oh, I did that in one try, huh? Get good, easy. It's like... You know, it's not that you can't celebrate your successes, but, you know, don't step on other people for struggling a bit. You know, like, let them puzzle it out. Let them figure it out organically. And again, as I've said before, there are... Everyone's better at different sorts of puzzles. Good. Easy, but extremely tedious. Don't you just love pushing blocks around? Who doesn't love pushing blocks around? Ugh. Come on, man. Did anybody else here play, um... Uh... Tales of... Uh, God, which one was it? The one with Senel as the protagonist. Like, I've just... I've blocked it from my mind. I can't think of it. Tales of Legendia. There we go. Um, I have, like, no health, but I have three fairies. I was gonna, like, use a fairy, and I thought, don't use a fairy, just let it use- let it revive you if you die, because you'll get more health that way. 
But yeah, Tales of Legendia had rooms in dungeons that were dedicated to block pushing. Hello. Eh. That's true. Also, when you're streaming and chatting, your problem-solving brain is diverted. Iron Knuckle. Watch out for its axe attack. It hurts a lot. Strike when it drops its guard. Come on, man. Come on, man. Well, this takes a while when you're just a little guy. I mean, they are armored. Uh oh. Ooh, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna get hit picking up those hearts. This guy should be in baseball! Oh, man. <coughs> I didn't even think about Deku sticks. I totally forgot. Good. Good. Well, I was doing so well. There we go. Cool. Man, it was almost perfect, and then it wasn't. But you know what? Link is is not in pieces right now, which is pretty impressive. <coughs> Kid has an iron constitution. Hey, what's up, Link? Surprised to see me? A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even I thought that the tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time was merely a legend. It should be were, Owl. Link, you have fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all the people in Hyrule is on your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore. Here is my last advice. Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic power against them. Hoo hoot! Do you want to hear what I said again? One of these days, he should be like, do you not want to hear what I said again? <laughs> Just to throw you off. <laughs> I will continue to watch you. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Get out of here. <laughs> Four Swords Adventures was the last time we saw the owl, huh? I was just trying to remember. Good riddance. I mean, unless you count the, the Link's Awakening remake. All right, you found the silver gauntlets. If you wore them, you would feel power in your arms. The power to lift big things with A. But these gauntlets won't fit a kid. Plus, you promised to give them to Naboru. You should keep your word. I'm gonna undrink some water real quick. I know someone's in peril, but I need to have my sippy. Hey, where are you taking me? Yeah, let me go! <coughs> Do something, Owl. You, you fiends! Ganondorf's minions! Link! Get out of here! Now! These witches! They're using black guns to go new! I don't know, maybe they're red mages, you don't know. That's rough, buddy. I want that. But I don't think I can get it as a kid. I think you have to be big to get that. I guess I could have just warped to the Temple of Time, huh? Ugh, sorry. This wretched cough. Deliver me from this wretched cough. I'm gonna drink more water. Ugh. 
Hopefully the Advil kicks in soon. So my head can stop throbbing every time I cough. Misery! Anguish! Also, I'm, so I'm sorry to bring it up again, but, but I, I put it on my, my Twitter a little while ago. I played, um, again, F-099 a little this afternoon. And I tried a Grand Prix an hour ago. A couple hours ago now. Um, and uh, was on the final course, Silence. And it was the last lap. I had a full, fairly beefy power meter because I had gotten several KOs. And I was about to get a Skyway, and I was already in sixth place. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, why am I, I I'm running? Why am I running? Um, hang on a second. There we go. Um, and uh, on the last lap, I was trying to go over a jump, and I bonked into a red bumper, one of the bomb cars, and it just launched me. And I tried to steer back on the course, but oh, I just, I blew up outside the course. It was tragic. Like, ugh, how dare you? Misery. <laughs> Isn't there like a Skulltalo on top of one of these? Maybe only a knight. Hang on. Uh, yeah, that, that emote was basically my face. Like, come on! Come on! Ugh. Well, I don't see a Skulltula, so never mind. Wah, wah. Well, at least there's a piece of heart, and that'll give me another heart container. I have I have missed so <clears throat> so many pieces of heart. <coughs> I guess I just couldn't really be bothered. Oh, there, there's a skulltula. I couldn't be bothered to go out of my way for them. <coughs> Heck, man! <laughs> Take me back! Take me back! <sighs> Come on. I want it. I want it. Do I also want the Skulltula? Sure. Since I'm here. Does anybody remember what the reward for 40 is? Because I don't. I know after 50 it's just money, so that's why I never bothered to get them all. <laughs> yep, yeah, probably. It's not going to be worth your time. I mean, I love the Zelda series, don't get me wrong, but very good at making me go like, really? That's it? Yay. I've completed another heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased. Woohoo. I can shred your ankles even more, buddy. Aren't you excited? <laughs> no. No. Can I lift these? No. I guess not. Oh, you looked it up. It's actually worth getting. I'm shocked. Oh. Who put this block here? How did they put this block here? Ganondorf did. I mean, doesn't he have some uh, some better to do? You'd think being the king of evil, he'd have a packed schedule. There we go. Actually, no, I don't use my bow. It's a waste. If you outright told me, where would be the fun in that? Correct. And now I'm really hoping the reward is genuinely terrible. Because it would be funnier that way. Well, why am I wearing the hover boots? Also, why am I using the master sword? Awful. Terrible. I need my big knife. 
cool. Block it off so no one can save the sage, I guess. But I mean, there are there are other points of ingress that he could block off. <laughs> I guess he just figured, eh, no one can get through this crawl space. Yeah, ill gross. Why would I use the sword of legend that slays evil? That sounds like it's for nerds. What's gonna try and kill me down here? Nothing. This feels weird to have a sand pit without, like, a, an ant lion in it. Maybe Kome and Kotake are like Kami Koopa, and one of their powers is to spawn in blocks. <laughs> if they were like Kami Koopa, that would be their only power. Let's be real. Like, I'm trying to... Genuinely trying to think if you see Kami Koopa do any kind of magic that is not spawning blocks. I feel like, like, manifesting her broom doesn't count. There's not, like, a hidden thing up there, is there? Nope. Nope. No, I guess not. Maybe I could get that with the hover boots. Or maybe playing the Song of Time will move it. Nope. Nope. I mean, doesn't she just spawn blocks in her boss fight, too? Like, uh, the one where Peach and, and Twink fight her, yeah? All she does is make blocks appear and dump them on Twink's head. I mean, she's got one thing she's good at. I'm curious what the Master Quest puzzle in here is like. She can spawn in enemies in Chapter 4. See, I completely forgot that. I mean, again, what what is spawning in enemies if not a variant of the Make Block spell? There we go. Mm. Anytime I play the Song of Temple, you freak out. Sorry, Song of Time, you freak out. Like, no, you're not done with the temple. What are you doing? But the moon is going to fall in two and a half days. That's not enough time to do anything. That's too stressful. Cammy's the one who makes the Tetris block, so if you get bad RNG... Oh, hello. It's Cammy's fault. Really? The weirdest things go tank off of leg legs. Like, I'm not- I'm not questioning the sound design in this game, but... I don't feel like tank is the noise they should make, you know? Oh, that's right! She zapped Peach with lightning to, to uh, cancel out the sneaky parasol. Really, is that everything that's in here? Is just that key? <laughs> that feels a little disappointing. <coughs> and Dora, I know you said you're good at Tetris. Does anyone else here, do you feel like you're good at Tetris? Or any other kind of puzzle game? A, a block dropping puzzle, puzzle game specifically. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, like, if it goes tank if I hit the mouth, which again is weird. Oh, you're good at Tetris too, Dawn? I said before, Tetris is not really my forte. <laughs> I am passable at Tetris, but that's about it. Passable. Better at Tetris Attack, but it's still... Eh. <coughs> oh. 
Oh, hey. Did I get them all? Nope. There's a little one. Now, did I get them all? I hope so, because if you leave one alive too long, it grows back into a big one. Oh, man. I always hated these rooms because of, a. Uh... There were chests in this dungeon that just do nothing but get you with ice. Those ones. And they'd always startle the heck out of me when I was little. I just- I hated the loud sound of Link yelling. And I know in Ocarina of Time randomized those are mixed into the pool. That's just mean, really. Will it close if I move it again? Come on, Link, you can do it. Yes, it will close. Ooh! Oh, that's- that's what it did. Get out of here. You're okay at Tetris? Never won Tetris 99, but you usually get top 40 or so. That's respectable. Come on. There you go. Not as good as dedicated players, but you can get out of jams, and great fun to do so. It is very satisfying when you, uh... Successfully get out of a tight situation in Tetris. Is there another switch down here? Nope. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, good riddance. I think there's a scarecrow spot on the other side, but. Uh, I don't have a key. Can't go in there. Um, can I get on the hand from here with the hover boots? Probably not, but I'm gonna try. Okay, I made some undignified noises, but I did it. <laughs> I'm never gonna get used to using the stick. I hope that's it, because I can't see. Excellent. Wonderful. Um, there's a Skultula somewhere. Where is it? Up there? Uh huh, it is up there. Is there a scarecrow? Let me see. Nope. Can I get the Skultula from here? Okay, no, there is a scarecrow. Except I'm just not in the right spot. Whatever. I'll just go up top. Actually, I don't I don't think I need to go that way, do I? Oh, whatever. I'm here. Let's push it there. For folks that have played this before, do you have a favorite dungeon in this game? There we go. There's Pierre. I don't know if I really have a favorite. The music's good in all of them. There we go, it's 40. I just gotta remember to, uh, turn that in at some point. <coughs> I'm hoping I can get through the Spirit Temple today. But, again, I'll have to see how bad this cough gets. How disruptive it gets, I should say. Eh. Mm, torches. Use Din's fire. It's cooler. And yeah, the forest temple is pretty cool, like just aesthetically. I like it when dungeons and games try and do something a little different. It's more memorable that way, you know? Ugh. 
cool. I'm going to unequip Din's fire before I use it by accident again. away. Hmm. When the environment looks like it could exist, like it has a purpose. I agree. Like it feels a lot more organic that way. <coughs> yeah, like you can you can look at a, a set piece in a game and understand why it exists. I feel that way about character design, too. Um, I guess let's go this way. Like, uh, I want it to make sense for a uh, character to dress the way they do. Do I have to be in here? I don't actually know. Speaking of organic, your favorite is Jabu Jabu's insides. Well, again, I could use the torch. Or I could just circumvent it and use fire arrows. Actually, I should probably get rid of these Beemos first. That would be smarter. Nah. Nah. Good. Good. Oh, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Wonderful. Okay. First spot I could just stand to get all the torches. Maybe here. Whoop. You have been zoning out and this comment out of context just sent a chill up your spine. What, about Jabu Jabu being organic? All natural. Non-GMO. Really? Come on. All right. Well, that that didn't actually do anything for me. <coughs> Very glad I am playing this modded version with the increased block pushing speed. A relief. Boy, I'm thinking I need to... No, don't do that. I need to stream Twilight Princess soon. I've been thinking about what I want to do um, for my next few games. I'm not sure if I want to... What am I doing with this? I'm not sure if I want to stream Mario Wonder. I'm sure I'm probably going to get Mario Wonder. I don't know if I want to stream it. If people would want to watch Mario... Um, but Super Mario RPG, for sure. Because I love that game. I do want to play it for Midna. Midna's just cool. Okay, I don't know if there's anything in here for me beyond the Iron Knuckle, which does not exist anymore. <coughs> Actually, no, now that I'm thinking about it, um, I'm gonna go out and check, but I think the, the dungeon item spawns on the other hand outside on the Desert Colossus. Yeah, but it's not there yet, so I can't get to it. So I don't need to be here right now. <coughs> Hello, Taito. Oh, my body is better, but I still have this wretched cough. And it's driving me crazy. Um... I no longer have the plague, thankfully. I tested myself the other day, and I'm negative, so that's that's a big relief. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, this, this wretched cough is still haunting me. But I've taken some medicine for it. I also took some Advil. Because every time I cough, it just my head throbs. It's awful. <coughs> How do I get this door open? Like, it's not... I don't even know what this switch opens. Well, <laughs> the 
are most statues in my way. Whoops. You were also stuck with the dastardly cough for a while. Oh, I'm sorry. Misery. Do I need to maybe go back this way? Since I don't... What's stopping me is I'm not sure if I can get back to this side of things. Like, across there. Like, if there's something I can hookshot onto. Is there a... Hang on. Is there a hookshotable thing up there? Oh, yes, there is. And I just didn't see it. Whoopsie. How sneaky. Hiding things on the ceiling. Oh, that's right. It is World Mental Health Day. Uh, no, I didn't need to go in here. <coughs> I need to go up. I don't really have anything pithy to say, but I'm glad that World Mental Health Day exists. I think being mindful of one's mental health is very important. You gotta take care of yourselves. <coughs> There's a chest in there I could reach. Do you remember where? Oh, that Anubis thing is back. <laughs> Hang on, let me just... Actually, can you just fire arrow it? Did I have fire arrows at my disposal? Eh, yes I can. In the big statue room? Do you remember where in the big statue room? Eh. Ooh, $20. Gotta have it. <coughs> Ugh. Man, I'm so sorry for those of you watching this recording and having to hear my wretched coughing! So isn't there... Unless I'm crazy. What the heck was that? The opposite side of where the Scarecrow was. I was thinking, didn't I get that? But maybe I didn't. I will go and check. Ooh. Nope. Sorry, Link. Not today. Well, this block is here. Do I need it for anything? I'll go back and check real quick. I don't know why that block is there. Does anybody remember why that block is there? No. Oh, I just can't break that pot. Whatever. I think... Oh yeah, there is a chest there. I just forgot that I made it spawn. Cool. You know, I would have preferred arrows, actually. But, uh, that's fine. <coughs> I also don't remember a lot of this temple. Okay, that's how you open the, uh... The central area. No, I'm not sure if I want to go... What was that? I'm not sure if I want to go there or up here first. Well, why don't I go here and then I'll go back up that way with all the Anubises? Anubi? Hmm. In Master Quest, that room is the worst. The one with the uh, Anubises? And the, the time block? That feels like some Master Quest chicanery. The, the, the time block. Ugh. Oh. Oh! Okay, that just takes me back to the entrance. Interesting. Well, I don't need to go back there right now, but... Good to know that's there, just in case. <sighs> Boy, does anybody know of any good cough remedies? Yes, I've been taking medicine, I've been drinking lots of water, and also tea, and like a, if not soup, um, broth, like just chicken broth. But it keeps me up at night, it's so frustrating. I've been back at work this week. And, uh, goodbye. <clears throat> and uh, not being able to sleep well at night is very frustrating when one has to leave for work at you know a little before five thirty in the morning. 
There's two time blocks on top of each other and a small box on top. You have to play the Song of Time in the right spots to slowly lower the box down. Ugh. Okay. I know you have to lure... Yeah? Yeah, Navi? Yeah? I know you have to lure one of the Armos onto that pressure switch, which is a little tricky because they move. So I wonder if I can just, like, doink. Yeah, just like that. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, that's a really irritating puzzle. It seems very tedious to do, too. Just because you have to keep playing the song. Hello. I don't know why we have to fight. I mean, good. <laughs> wow, that's that is fast. Efficient. Good thing since Adult Link can't use stick for some reason. I got all this stick upgrade and it's useless to me. I've got a decongestant, that's the problem. <laughs> it's just not strong enough. Yeah, I've I've got stuff with a cough suppressant. That's what I took. But, as you can hear, it's not really suppressing it. You found the mirror shield! The shield's polished surface can reflect light or energy. Press R to use it. Cool. I guess I should put on my fancy shield. <clears throat> so Ganondorf could conquer, oops, conquer Hyrule with ease thanks to the Triforce of Power, but he couldn't get a can of WD-40 for that rusty switch in one of his temples. No. See, I'm, I'm getting mixed messages from Ganondorf because he, he puts these blocks in to stop you unless you have Herculean strength. But then doesn't even oil his switches. Shameful. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I wouldn't make that. It's funny to me now, you know? All right. It's like, why can't I pull up my shield? That's why. Intentionally rusted that switch so I couldn't proceed. Well, that would be rather ungentlemanly. It's how he works out. What, hitting rusty switches? To, like, flex? Ugh. Wretched. Wretched hive of scum and villainy. That's what my esophagus is like right now. Uh, I'm going to... Bombs. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Can you hang on, please? Bemos is like, I could do this all day, bub. There we go. Didn't even drop bombs. Rude. Yeah, I'm calling a timeout. And this room is very funny because you're supposed to carefully scale that wall, but you can just hook shot up it. Stop talking until I fully recovered. <laughs> but if I'm not streaming, what do I do? Do you want me to sit there in awkward silence? I guess I could just stare at you with my, my VTuber model. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, get my sword, my cool sword for this. Nope. Na, 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 na. <sighs> Primity. Give me a second. Oh. Oh, I guess I don't have to put them out to hit them. Never mind. I'm back here, you joik. Ugh. Learn to do sign language with my face. I mean, 
I guess I could I could just emote. I mean, Octomori is fairly expressive. How do we get up there again? I can't like melt it, can I? Uh, what am I doing? Meet Lens of Truth. But also let me equip my lame sword. Okay. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Is it actually invisible? No, it's not invisible. Totally unnecessary lens of truth. Oh. Okay. These guys look like Arby's. What does that mean? Um, I can't melt that, can I? I don't think so, because if that was the intended solution, they would give you item for it. Nope. And all these doors are fake, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Fake. Oh, here we go. There we go. There's the culprit. Speak only through my emotes. Okay, I need to I need to stop playing every few seconds so I can Add some witty repartee into the chat. <sighs> Great, there's more of them. Nope. 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 Nope, must be this one. No? Huh. Unless there is actually a Lens of Truth one. See, you're already communicating what I would want to communicate with my emotes just fine. Hmm. There's not like... Bombable ball somewhere, is there? I don't think I would have to get rid of all these doors. Yeah, sorry. Oh! There is a, a, a lens of truth. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, and that isn't the button I wanted. Usually I, I've had the lens of truth on the left stick, but that's not where it is. Anyway, I see what my problem is, is that the eye switch I hit made this appear, which I didn't notice because there was no sound. Ugh, there we go. Everything is good? You think this chest would be superheated, but that's fine. Link's got gloves on. Oh no, he doesn't. He has gauntlets. That would that would still be pretty painful, actually. Do not try to take anything out of the oven with gauntlets on. Oh. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, I have no one to blame but myself, but still. You have an idea to make Master Quest even more frustrating. I want to hear this. So, oh man, I was going to see if there were hearts here, but... Oh, goodbye! Oh sure, you fly at me, you don't ascend into space. Oh yeah, mimics like um, the chest that just frees you. Yeah, that's a mimic in a way. I mean, I don't think it's sentient, but it hates your guts all the same. What are you doing? They're just spinning. You good? Come on, Link. Come on. Come on. You're making me look bad. Aim for it when it stops, I guess. I feel kind of bad. You know, it was just it was just chilling. Okay. Uh, is this wall blow upable? Yes it is. That is a word, by the way, blow upable. It's a very technical term.
Why do you want them to torture me with mimics and other cruel traps? Although I guess seeing streamers suffer is part of the appeal for some folks. And it is kind of validating when, like, you see something in a game that you yourself have had trouble with. And you see, oh, they're having they're having a tough time with this too. Same hat, you know. And it, it feels more satisfying when they overcome it. It's like you did it. Eh. Why does that one just? Ugh. Uh, sun switch. That is not the button I want. Yeah, just just uh, a little extra destruction. Just making your ruins look more ruinous. In that room with the fake doors and master quest, there's a bunch of thrones encircling important stuff, and you have to get the iron knuckle to break them. It's like, what if you kill the iron knuckle? Also, I feel kind of bad destroying this work of art. Sorry. Hello, Bell. You like watching them fail? <laughs> I guess that makes me feel better when I goof up. Like, well, at least somebody's having fun. Me when you forget your sunscreen. Alara, hello! <laughs> Looks like someone is here, Kome. <laughs> Looks like it, Kotake. What an outrageous fellow he is to intrude so boldly into our temple. <laughs> we should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson. <laughs> oh, loyal minion. Destroy this intruder on our behalf. Look at their big bug eyes. <laughs> oh, how come I can't do that, Axamancy? I think I've never tried. Nope, nothing. I guess I wouldn't want to summon an axe at the computer desk. Good. Does this one have a different description than the others? Something strange. This is not an ordinary enemy. Yeah, it's got red. I'm gonna get backed into a wall. Hang on a second. I need a little space. I remember when I first played this, I didn't know how to pronounce Kome and Kotake. And I'm just assuming it's Kome and Kotake based on Japanese phonetics. But I remember me and like other kids in class saying Kum and Kotake. <gasps> Look! Uh, where am I? Well, well, looks like she's back to normal. Kome? She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo Gotake. Maybe we should make her work for the great Ganondorf for a little while longer. <laughs> Then we should brainwash her again! <laughs> Can I just say the shape of Kome and Kotake's faces? They remind me of Lemmings. Uh, uh, the game character's Lemmings, not the actual rodents, to be clear. The little green-haired fellas with the, the blue ropes. <coughs> the streamers you like watching, you like watching them fail. But not me, because I'm friend. Aw, oh, thank you. But for other streamers who do it as a career, you'll laugh. It's fun to cheer against your streamer. And most of the audience does it because there's an understanding that if you didn't like them, you wouldn't be watching. That's very true. And I, I think that makes me feel better because I, 
you know me, I stress out when I don't play well or I make mistakes and I think, oh, people are gonna be like, huh, she's bad at video games. That's kind of a sore spot for me, I feel like. This pressure when you're a woman in gaming, that if you don't perform perfectly, then you'll get chewed out for it. Like, like you're bad at it because you're a girl. But then there's also the other side of the coin where if you do too well, people are like, oh, we're just going on easy, easy on you because you're, you're a girl. You know what I mean? And that's why I don't play online games. Look at that stupid kid! He came on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf! With my flame, I will burn him to the bone! With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul! Do we gotta? Sorceress Sisters Twin Rova! No one watches a non speedrunning streamer for their gameplay, you assure me. I mean, sometimes. I need to put my sword away. Uh. I can pull out the cool sword when it is time for the cool sword. Oh, come on. Yeah, the first part of this fight I've always found is the hardest. Just because trying to line up your shot. Uh oh, Link, you're turning the wrong way. You're turning the wrong way, Link. I guess I could have just not targeted her. There's a game you love with a clearly Japanese character named Obake. And for for years you thought their name was Obake. Oh no. I mean, if you don't know. There we go. Oh, come on. Uh. <coughs> I gotta know, Kapotoko, what what is this this game with Obake? I'm very curious. Come on, man. Wait, ooh, that that uh that really hurts. Oof. Well I still have a fairy or two, yeah, so it's fine. I feel kind of bad, like, letting Link die, instead of just recovering, but, I mean, it's more efficient that way. There we go. I don't know why that's hard to aim. Maybe I shouldn't be Z-targeting the other one. Because then I just accidentally walk away. Cool. Yeah, definitely easier if I don't Z-target. Lesson learned. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, Link. Vigilante 8, second defense. That's not what I'm familiar with. <laughs> Come on, Link, it's just Canadian winter. Let's go, let's go. There was some poll I saw on Tumblr the other day that was asking, is Massachusetts cold in the winter? I think it was Massachusetts. And honestly, what was most telling about the poll is that, like, heck, like, 37% of respondents couldn't even be bothered to look at the Climate of Massachusetts Wikipedia page. But anyway, I had a look at it to see, is this cold? And like, their lows in winter in Celsius is like, nine below. Look. I'm like, I can't imagine living in a place where like, that's, that's the coldest it gets. 
9 Celsius. Absurd. Oh, come on. Why am I bad at this? If there's snow on the ground, that's cold. I guess if you live in a place that doesn't reliably snow, cool. Thanks, Kotake, I think. Cool. Sorry, which one are you? Boston gets snow, thus it's cold. It's so mild, though. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Why... Why am I not hitting? Lining up terribly. I mean, I shouldn't be lining up terribly. It's like, they, they, they're they right there. Okay, well, this, this isn't my fault. That's not my fault, but... Like, when they're right there. Yeah, but this ain't my first rodeo. There we go. Criminy. Using her sister as a shield. I mean, it's fine. If, if she gets hit with her own element. There we go. Okay, let's get serious now, Kotake. Oh, okay, Komei. Kotake and Komei's double dynamite attack. Like a link is like, excuse me? Oh! Sorry, hang on a sec, miss. Someone always using fairies instead of passively reviving. His logic was that you're basically dying. I mean, it doesn't count as a death, though. But in a way, I get it because I feel bad for Link. And that's why I think, like, I want to pop the fairy early, even though it's more efficient not to. Just because I feel bad for him, you know? Their jumpy eyes became jumpy something else's. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can you use the ice one, please? Of course. Of course. Please? Thank you. I have to get closer. There we go. Okay, hang on a sec. Cool sword. Cool sword. Sorry about the noises. I know. I know. Yeah, jumpy twin tails. Exactly. I mean, at least she's doing it on purpose. Like, it... It feels like when you have a character that dresses in a suggestive way that doesn't make sense for them to do it, and it just feels like blatant fan service. You know, especially a character that's supposed to be heavily armored. Whereas, like, this feels like she's doing it on purpose. Or like Bayonetta. Doing it on purpose. It makes sense. Enough of that dialogue. Shoot! What a fresh kid! This time we'll get serious, right, Kotake? What? Hey, Komei, what is that above your head? I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Kotake. But I'm only 400 years old! And I'm just 380 years old! We're twins! Don't try to lie about your age! You must have gone senile! Who are you calling senile? Is that how you treat your older sister? We're twins! How you be older? You know how heartless you are! How would you be so ungrateful? You're heartless! You're ungrateful! I'll come back to haunt you! <laughs> Yeah, I wish I wish this game got goofy like that more often. It's fun. I think it's very important for a Zelda game to be funny sometimes. 
Yeah, all witches go to heaven, you know. Heaven confirmed for Hyrule, hello, Boogie. All hags go to heaven. <laughs> kid, let me thank you. <laughs> Look what the little kid has become in the past seven years. A competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny? That a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit. And now, I'm going to fight them as one of the six Sages. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No. Link, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Take it. You receive the spirit medallion. Naboru awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. If only I knew you would become such a handsome man. I should have kept the promise I made back then. Link. The hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the King of Evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. Yeah, those eyes are a little uncanny. Now, do we want to do that now or save that for the beginning of Friday's stream? What do you think? All right, now I want to go to Gerudo Valley and try the horseback archery. Oh wait, I can't just warp there. I have to, I have to walk through the desert, sort of. I have to go in the desert and then get teleported back. Save story for later. That's a good idea. I can't break that. Oh well. Hmm. I guess maybe I should save it. Give my my voice a rest. But I'm still gonna do the horseback archery. Also, I'm late to this, because I, uh... Hmm, didn't want to interrupt the cutscene, but... Hilda's a great example. Of... Uh, I guess I should clarify Hilda from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Of a character who dresses in a way that is... Provocative and a little fan y but it makes sense for her. I think she's the only character I've seen in a Fire Emblem game that could dress in a kind of revealing manner, but it makes perfect sense for her to do it. Oh. Really? Can I not? Do I just have to, like, go back um, through uh, the entrance to Gerudo Valley? I guess. I guess. I can go to Lake Hylia. Uh, hang on. Oh yeah, gold sculptulas. Thanks for reminding me. I can do that too. Yeah, normally when I see characters that have designs that are meant to be very revealing, and I know more recent Fire Emblem games have been very bad for this, um, or it doesn't make sense for them to dress that way, like Byleth. It really rankles me that there's such a big difference in design between male and female Byleth, particularly their clothing. Because, you know, male Byleth is wearing full body armor, but female Byleth has, like, fancy stockings and is showing off her chest and has a bared midriff. 
And she's supposed to be a mercenary. And that's what bothers me is that it doesn't make sense for a mercenary to dress that way. But Hilda wearing revealing clothing. And I'm in here, by the way, because I haven't talked to this guy outside of the bigger on sword quest and I forgot what he said so I want to do it but anyway Hilda looking provocative makes sense for her because she uses that to manipulate people and be like oh I'm so helpless can't some big strong person do all these menial tasks for me meanwhile she's hefting around a humongous axe love that for her hello there son I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Hylia's water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've met that old lady from the potion shop. She is like a student of mine. <laughs> is that all you gotta say? Is there like nothing else in here? What about your, your pond? Your scummy pond. Oh. Well, 41 Skultulas. Yeah, female Byla's outfit is totally weird. I think that's a good way of putting it. What is that? Is that just like a shark carcass? Or is it a living shark that's just like... pressing its nose to the bars like, Hey bud, what's up? Oh, you're, you're going away? Okay, see ya! 19. Nice, uh, nice decorations here. Nice Nautilus shell. <clears throat> and yeah, to go to what was mentioned in chat, um, the way the Gerudo's dress too also makes sense for people that live in the desert. You know, you would want something like an area that's easy to move in. I'm gonna call my pony. I don't know why I haven't called my pony yet. Well, and you have character designs that, like female Byleth, that don't make sense in universe and that's what what rankles me you know weird for a mercenary weird for a teacher and i don't think to be clear cool cool thanks opponent for getting stuck on a ledge bit of geometry i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that you know if you want to design fan servicey looking characters that appeal to you then go for it you know, live your dream, have fun, be like Yoko Taro, who is the uh, creator of the Nier series, among other things. And to my knowledge, he's very open about the fact that Tubi, the character, uh, the main character of Nier Automata, Automata, I've never heard it said out loud, but was designed to appeal to him. But you know, when you're honest about it, it doesn't rankle me as much. But. When you have something like Fire Emblem that's ostensibly trying to tell a serious story, well then you have questionable outfit designs, it just... I guess it kind of breaks the immersion, for lack of a better word? I don't... Thanks, Epona. I don't think I get an awkward social vibe from Byleth. Again, it's not so much not dressing appropriately to be a teacher, it's more that it wasn't, she's not dressed appropriately, appropriately to be a mercenary, you know? And it's weird that male Byleth has full body armor. The female one doesn't. Like, at least let me pick. You know, so if you want the, the midriff bearing design, you can have it. Maybe I want to wear the full body armor. Epona the most horse accurate catches on edges won't cross a bridge. I have heard horses are just like that. It's true. Hey, newcomer. You have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but... Okay, how about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you can score a thousand points, I will give you something good. Do you want to try for 20 rupees? Yes, please. It's not going to go well. Because trying to aim is kind of hell. Like, my god, I want the gyro aim. Good. Oh, I lost my rhythm. I lost my rhythm. Yeah, goodbye. Nah. 
It's like once you've played Ocarina of Time 3D with the, the gyro aiming, you can't go back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, heck jars, heck my life. Ugh. Nope. 490 points. Hmm. <laughs> you have plenty of room for improvement. Yeah, let me try one more time. It wasn't actually aiming for that, but... Okay, that worked a little better. What, Link's crossbow training? You could have gotten Link's crossbow training and you didn't, Kelly. A sacred relic. Oh, I did it. Cool, I didn't think I was going to make it, but I did it. Fantastic! You are a true master! I will give you this item. Once you have this, the only thing left to improve is yourself. Yay. Don't you get a bigger quiver from this? I mean, I don't think I need it, but... Okay, I'm gonna go to Kakariko Village. Um, and I'm gonna do the Skulltula reward, or I'm going to get the Skull to the reward, and then I'm going to call it an evening. And then we're going to reconvene on Friday and beat this thing, I guess. And then I have to think about what I want to do next. My other thought is Curse Crackers. I've really been wanting to play Curse Crackers. Oop. Royal Composer Bros. Sharp the Elder. Rip. Oh. Hey, dude. Hoe of the Graveyard, if you stare at a Wazid targeting, it will disappear. No, not you. I want to make the other one appear. Royal Composer Bros. Flat the Younger. Rip. It's like Mario and Luigi. But ghosts. What do you have to say for yourself, Nintendo? You can't do anything with these guys, can you? <laughs> now only Luigi remains. I guess I could capture its spirit in a bottle and give it to the guy in the market. Yeah, you killed me! Good. I mean, huh? Oh, it's you. Did you try to play the sun song? Like I told you before, with that song, you can turn day to night or night to day whenever you want. When you're in darkness, that song should bring the sun's light to you. You should try it. What about Luigi? I need to kill Luigi. I did totally the wrong voice for that guy. No, I... Ugh, you killed me! Huh? Oh, it's you. Did you try to play the sun song? Oh, you just say the same thing. You should try it. Thanks, Ghost Luigi. I know, this game is just ripping off Wand of Gamelon. Can you believe it? Integrity is dead. Everybody's just ripping off everybody else forever. Actually, while I'm here, I should go to the potion shop. So I feel like having a blue potion for Ganon would be a good idea. Since you got to use a lot of magic, and I'm kind of fearful I'm going to run out of magic trying to aim the light arrows of uh, spoilers I guess light arrows are a thing oh, what's the easiest way to get over there Nintendo is a lawsuit coming could they sue themselves I would imagine you don't want to run out of magic in that fight no You can walk through the shop, but that's boring. And also, I forgot you could walk through the shop. But that's boring. 
Hmm. I remember reading that you could replace the infrared beacon with, like, tea candles. Ultimate potion? How about a hundred rupees? Delicious. You got a blue potion. Drink it with C to recover your life energy and magic power. Cool. I guess the, the dangerous... Well, maybe not necessarily dangerous, but downside is that, you know, you have to be very careful with your candles. Um... Is there anything else I need to do over on this side? Nah. Let's go get the Skulltula reward, and then I'll call it a night, I guess. I guess along with Curse Crackers, I can also do Monkey Ball Story Mode. Maybe I can, like, do Curse Crackers and then some Monkey Ball or finish Monkey Ball. I don't know. Depends how much I want to suffer. Okay. Who is the most recent one to break free of the curse? The curse has been broken! Thank you! Here's a reward for you! Andorra! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> oh... No, wait. Is there another one that's been freed? Oh, you said, you said something different. Please save my other brothers, too. I'm sure they will give you something a lot better. Will you do it? Man, with rewards like that... That's all of them, right? You should absolutely be proud of yourself, Andorra. It's very funny. Okay, no, that's all of them. Yeah, we gotta figure out how Super Monkey Ball's riveting story ends. Well, it's fine. It's just a reminder of our time spent bomb chew bowling. Okay. Oh wait, there's a grotto here. Hang on. Let, let me do that, and then and then I'll call it an evening. Let's find let's find the hole. Actually, you know what, Claire? If you're still here, you mentioned your favorite grotto was the one in like the sacred forest meadow, right? I don't think I ever went back to that. Oh, I already went in here. Just kidding. You know, even I don't really remember how the Super Monkey Ball story ends. Like, I, I know... I know where the stages take place. I remember what the worlds are. But the narrative threads that tie it all together... That's just a mystery to me. <laughs> it just has a nice wall. Well, we're gonna see the nice wall and then call it an evening. I've missed playing this game, okay? And it's nice to hang out on stream. Like, let me tell you, uh, recovering from illness is so boring. Boy, I hope it has bomb shoes. I still have a fairy, right? Like, yeah, two blue potions and a fairy should be fine. Nice to have a fairy in case, like, I space out and I take too much damage and die. What is it, Navi? The one who was waiting for us at the Temple of Time. It could be. I mean, maybe it's Mido. Mido. You don't know. Okay. Oh, I'm getting the rumbles. Well, I'm getting the stone showing up. There we go. I want to see this nice wall. Oh, it's the rainbow wall. There's not even any re-deads in here. It's a little sad. Just a furry convention. Sorry. Sorry. We love and respect the furry community here. Just not those two guys in particular. What's it gonna be, everybody? Place your bets, place your bets. 20 bucks, 50 bucks, bomb chews. 50 dollar. Oh, that's one round. One and a half rounds of bomb chew bowling. 
What a find. Okay. I'm going to call it an evening now for real. Thank you so much, everyone. It's such a treat to hang out with you all. I hope you have a lovely evening, and I will catch you on Friday for the finale of this, unless things go horribly wrong, knock on wood. And then after, I don't know, we'll see. So uh, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.